Okay, so here's a second video because I screwed up on the pause. So um, I got the heat shield on. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. It's just a sheet of metal cut to a certain height. I don't remember, but you'll have to take measurements from here to there. And it's just slip it through it over about an inch of gap. See that gap between that and the glass? So you got quite a lot of space between them. The heater is very nice. It's uh, It heats up really good. With that heat deflector, it deflects all the heat to the front so you can set it next to something. And um, like I mentioned on the, on the previous video about this, uh, this uh, catalytic uh, odor reducer that I got from uh, Miles Wick Shop. They don't make them anymore. But it fits in there quite nicely, so it just drops in, drops in, and uh, it puts out quite a lot of light and heat. Um, it's really small. If you look at it next to the uh, the light, and you can see the height difference. It's three quarters shorter. Next, and uh, it is quite bright, so. I had a set on my living room last night trying to watch TV and the light was so bright it was kind of distracting. But if that's the only light you're going to use and you don't want to burn up electricity, it comes, comes real good. So I got a room that's dark and people are passing by and I don't want to burn a light all night long. So I find this heater is very good for that. It provides the light and the heat that I need. I don't have any heat at home, central heating. I burn firewood and I use kerosene heaters. And uh, this gets me through the winter here in South Carolina. And that's the bigger heater I use in the back. That's for when it really gets cold. But this is good for tights, just like a room, you know, at nighttime. But I myself find it extremely distracting if I got a light this, this bright on uh, during the night. I cannot sleep with the light on. I have to have everything dark. So that's just me. But um, it holds 1.7 gallons. And I had it on all night long and about half the day, and it was still about halfway. And uh, works real good. One of the nice things that I do like about it is that it doesn't have that ratchet move to the uh, to the wick. It just moves really freely, and you can adjust it to whatever you want. And if you turn it off, you have to turn it off by twisting it. You don't have no emergency that clicks and everything. You do have it, it's right here on this side, but according to the uh, manual, it should only be used like when it's tipping or anything like that. Here, I'll show you. Say like, if you tip it, let's see, yeah, it's already tripped. Let's say like if you have it like this, yeah, see, it's already tripped. So... I've sat down like that. When I first got it, I, like I said uh, before, I was having trouble with it, and I had to bend it a certain way to so I can get the uh, emergency uh, latch to work. But that was just a mechanical type thing. This here, that's this is to light it, and like I said, this is it has no ratcheting on it, so it just lifts up. See how the wick goes up? I don't know if you can see it, Let's see goes up and comes down there's no ratcheting to it so if you want to turn it off you just have to turn it towards the left all the way down until it stops it uh, works on the same principle that perfection heaters work on and uh, nothing has changed and uh, same kind of wick uh, attachment too let me show you same thing as a perfection has same principle and it just drops right in screws right off and like I said this is the uh, the heater and it's working so yeah that's the heater and that's the big sucker out here this is when it really gets cold uh, living in South Carolina it really doesn't get that cold except very rare times but this is just a small heater meant for one room it does its job and it's very nice looking too very nice and um, it's a sweet looking heater 
Plus, I got my Latin working right now. That's another good one. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye.